The only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. I'm not a groomer. I'm just a loser. Guys, we have truly entered the dark ages of YouTube. It seems like every week now, some YouTuber is being exposed for doing something gross and or icky. And well, this week is no exception. Now, I'm sure most of you, unfortunately, know about the YouTuber Miranda Sings. If not, she was a huge YouTuber about eight or so years ago. Now, Miranda Sings is like a character who is best explained as just pretty much generally insufferable. And behind Miranda Sings is a woman named Colleen Ballinger. And over the last week or so, some of the stuff that old Colleen has done in the past has come into question and, uh, well, it does not look good. Now, this is not one of those things where it's like a witch hunt over a tweet somebody made 15 years ago. Miss Miranda has done some uh, seriously weird things in the past that uh, definitely, definitely should be questioned. There's a whole list out there on Twitter you can find. I'm not gonna go through the entire thing because this video is not really about what she did, rather just her apology. But I'll read off a few things just so you guys can get an idea. Having a nine-year-old boy reach into the front of her pants on stage in front of parents and fans to grab a cheese puff. Talking to fans who have made it clear that they are minors in a group chat about stuff like what their favorite position is. Having a child act out giving birth on stage. Kissing her sister on the lips for a, a chapstick challenge, whatever that is. Filming and harassing a homeless person for being inside of a laundromat, and much, much more. You can find the thread pretty easily if you go on Twitter, but today we're going to be talking about what Colleen Ballinger has done for damage control. Recently, she released an apology video titled Hi, where she, uh, well, I'm not even sure I really want to spoil what she does to you guys, but, uh, she tries to apologize, I guess. It, uh, it doesn't really work. I'm sure you've already figured out what's going on by watching the video play in the background, but if not, that's perfect. That makes it so much better for you. I think it's honestly best that you don't know what you're about to see if it hasn't been spoiled for you already. So let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Yeah. No, no, this is a real video, yeah. In a video responding to some pretty serious claims being made against this woman, the ones I read off aren't even the worst ones. She decided that the best way to respond to these claims is, uh, via, via ukulele song. I mean, can you spell tone deaf? Right? You guys having fun? All aboard the toxic gossip train You're chugging down the tracks so of misinformation The toxic gossip train You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station Toxic gossip train Tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past Cause rumors look like facts If you don't mind the gaps I won't survive in the crash But hey I've got to be honest, I don't really get this approach, acting like this is some sort of misinformed witch hunt that's all based off of nothing but rumors. Most of the things in that Twitter thread I was talking about, plus everything that I said, has like video evidence. Like there's no, there's no room for misinterpretation. There's videos of her having a child reach down her pants. I don't know where the gaps of information are there. I think most of the time, at least 99% of the time, if you have a child reaching down your pants, there's a, there's something wrong there, Colleen. At least you're having fun. Uh, hi everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say, so. My god, you know the worst part is, is that she absolutely thought she was just eating this right up. Sitting there like Spongebob writing his essay having light bulbs come up over her head. This is the most millennial thing I've ever seen in my life. Many years ago, I used to message my fans. Uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way, where I was just trying to be besties with everybody. It's kind of like 
uh, when you go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there who keeps coming up to you and going like, hey girl, what's the tea? And you're like, Ugh. Um, that was me, but in group chats with my fans. Gonna have to give that one a zero out of ten, Miranda. Um, what? What kind of what kind of family reunions are you going to, Colleen? You're asking your grandma if she likes the '69. What are you talking about? What do you mean you're trying to be like a cool, weird aunt in a loser way? No, you're you're just weird. There's no like cool, quirky characteristic there. No, it's just you're just strange. Out of all the ways you could have tried to defend that, that was not the way to do it. It was weird. I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you, and because of that, I feel like I'm talking to my friends. But in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. There were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. Okay, still, this this is really not tracking. It's one thing to be oversharing with a fan, okay? If you have a fan who's like 22, go share whatever you want with them. But I feel like there's not much of an excuse for talking in the way that you were talking to a person you knew was a child. Like, that's not something I think an adult should have to learn, and if they do, there's, there's something wrong there. So let's go on the toxic gossip train. The locomotive's fueled with hateful accusations The toxic gossip train Steamroll over someone's reputation Toxic gossip train Hop on board but close your eyes Otherwise you'll realize That the train is made of lies And that person you despise Maybe didn't deserve to die But hey at least you're having fun. Uh, Colleen, there's a video of you saying you like little girls, bringing a young girl onto stage, having her act out a pregnancy, and saying she smells fertile. Uh, I don't know if this train's really being fueled with toxic, uh, misinformation. You acting like the victim in this little charade is, uh, a really bad look. You look unbelievably goofy. These are levels of goofy that we did not know were humanly possible. Nobody's hurting your reputation more than you. Grow up. In all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes, and it's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to take accountability, but that's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. Nothing says taking accountability like beginning to say that you try to work on your mistakes and fix yourself, and then fake interrupting yourself in your apology video responding to something that hasn't even been said yet. I mean, my god, talk about a victim complex. At the time of you saying this, Miranda, no one's even seen this video yet. No one's even had a chance to say anything about it, and you do the honors of saying it for them. This is not what taking accountability looks like. Playing the victim and trying to make people feel bad for you like you're the one who's not being being heard? Come on. Yeah. Um, I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that all of you are perfect, so please criticize me. Bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. My god, are we really doing this? Well, you heard it here first, folks. If you know not to talk to children inappropriately and have them touch you strangely on stage, well, then you're pretending to be perfect. Get off your high horse, people. I'm sure you're disappointed in my sh little song. in the wrong. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout. I feel like I'm I'm kind of going insane here, guys. Like, she's admitted, right, that she's documented the last 15 years of her life on the internet, but also acting like there's no, there's no hard evidence of the stuff people are saying? Like, I'm not joking, guys. These videos are on Twitter. Like, they're there. I'm sure some of it might be a little bit exaggerated, but most of it's like, no, there's, there's just videos of it happening. I'm kind of confused. Hey, everybody, I found someone new. 
to harass She did some things that I do not like in her past So everybody gather round, cause we're about to attack But not based on facts, oh no Your loaded lethal weapon is your fingers on the keys You don't need any armor when you can hide behind a screen So shoot me down quick, in the click, and bam! My reputation's deceased. This is seriously framed like she's trying to paint every single thing that any person is saying about her as nothing but some substanceless attack on her reputation. I mean, I don't know how else you'd view this. The weapon is the keyboard to attack your reputation. Uh, well, your keyboard was your weapon to attack the children in your group chat, Colleen. Why were you asking your fans for pictures of themselves? Can you explain that one with a song? Take a minute to talk about that girl Miranda sings. You know the one. Yeah, her. Uh, she's PG-13. It says that on my website, and it's always been that way. And that's why you won't find my videos on the YouTube Kids app, anyway. Ooh, yeah, she got us there. I remember clearly when reading the guidelines for a PG-13 rating, it did say that as long as there's a PG-13 rating on the website, we can make your children reenact births. This really does nothing but hurt her argument. If anything, as a parental rating goes up, the acceptability of bringing a child on stage, especially one who's under 13, goes down. This is like trying to argue that it's more acceptable to bring a child on stage to an event that's rated for 18 and over than it is at an event rated for all ages. It doesn't really matter what my intention was, because it seems as though everyone's already decided on that. Let me tell you, it's not very fun to have millions of people all over the world call you the most vile, horrendous, disgusting, life-ruining words that a person can be called, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't matter that these things aren't true. Uh, everyone just believes that you are the type of person who manipulates and abuses children. So I just wanted to say that um, the only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. I'm not a groomer. I'm just a loser who didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans and I'm not a predator even though a lot of you think so because five years ago I made a fart joke. Colleen, when your team said that it would be a bad idea to respond to this, I don't think they had anything like this in mind. I mean, come Thursday morning, Colleen, you're not gonna have a team. Like, I genuinely think that your response to these accusations could have been like an act of terrorism, and it would not have been as bad as this video. This is like dropping a nuclear bomb on your public perception. I know, I know for a fact, you did not just rhyme the word groomer with something. Surely my ears deceive me. Surely they do. If someone were to accuse me of something as serious as this, I would not be playing my ukulele as I responded to it. This is quite possibly the worst thing I've ever seen. And I don't say that lightly. No, nobody's calling you these things because you made a fart joke. It's silly and it's immature to act like that's the reason anybody's calling you any of these things. And no, it's, it's fine to respond to fans. It's something you should do. But the way you did it, that's, that's not okay. You knew who the people you you were talking to were, and you still chose to talk to them that way. That's not a mistake. That's a conscious decision. This is insane. So the rest of the video is just her repeating over and over and over again that a person making a mistake does not make them a terrible person, it just makes them a normal human, blah blah blah. And yeah, that's that's absolutely right. Nobody's gonna argue with that, but making the same mistake over and 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 over again for a decade, that's that's a slightly different story, Miranda. You can't act like this is one isolated incident, this one thing that people are trying to dig up from the past and use against you to ruin your reputation because it's not. It's it's just simply not, and I think you know that, which makes this video so, so confusing. It doesn't even really seem like a response. It almost just seems like something to stir the pot, because I don't know what else it could be. Nothing else makes sense. Well, guys, remember the day to go outside to fill up a jar of dirt. Remember this as the day that you witnessed the worst apology video. Actually, no. The worst apology for anything
anything that will ever be done in human history. This will never be topped. It, ju it just won't. It can't be. This is the most tone-deaf response to anything that has ever happened ever. This transcends YouTube. This transcends the internet. This is it. We've peaked. In 20 years, our children will be reading about this as the worst PR disaster in human history. We've seen the top of the mountain, people. It's all downhill from here. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.